Dearest Daniel, ever since the day I met you, lean, leaning on a crusty old pickup truck I mistakenly thought was yours, I've been granted a sense of peace I never knew before. It is something that I think few people are ever blessed to truly have, and it has been the greatest gift you've ever given me. And it's a peace in knowing that I found my true soulmate, my biggest supporter, my lifelong best friend and companion. Catherine, I love you, and I know you feel it. There is so much to us that no one else will ever get to know. And I love that too. What I do know is that you took a chance on a young military man like me. When life threw us a curveball and sent me to Japan and you to Richmond, you chose to stand by me from a world away. I already know you love me. So yes, I vow it all. In sickness and health for richer and poorer, to love and to cherish till death do us part. Again, though, we already know that. And I never feel alone. I have always known from the beginning that this was a man that I could trust my everything to. My life, my love, my heart and soul. And that you would not only fiercely protect these things, but help me grow selflessly. Because you, my love, are truly, deeply, and simply a good and beautiful person. My parents can breathe a sigh of relief because they know I found a person with enough patience to handle me, and I truly appreciate you for it. Setting sun paints a fire in the sky when the day is done. How the wind through the window makes you wanna run, calls you out to the coast with the promise of. today marks the start to the rest of our lives together, I know that it will not be enough time with you. So here are my promises to you. I will not take our time together for granted, and because words do not suffice, I promise to show you for the rest of my life how much I love you unconditionally. I promise to encourage you to follow your dreams and be your biggest cheerleader. I promise to love both of our families now and those members yet to come. I promise to try to make you laugh because that is when we are most ourselves. I promise to be loyal and faithful, prioritizing our family in life. I promise to never go to bed angry, doing my best to communicate with you. And Impossible. when we get old and frail, I promise to turn you every two hours. <laughs> <laughs> wipe your butt good. when you need. Thank you. Uh, caring for you through sickness and in health. <laughs> From this day forward, you'll never walk through life alone. So today, I also vow to be the one to handle all of life all of our future handwritten correspondence to let you have first picks of all of my best Pokemon <laughs> to always offer to watch your favorite shows before mine and to begrudgingly let you have all of the covers each night as long as the pets keep me warm since brevity has eluded me this far let me say I vow it all to you I am yours completely forever and always Dan you may kiss the bride <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, presenting now for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Daniel and Catherine Barati! It's really the selflessness and dedication that brought these two people together and that make them such a wonderful couple. It kept them strong through two years of long distance relationship and I know it'll make them very happy in the future. Um, and 
the last thing I want to say is that I'm very proud of Dan's accomplishments and the person he's become. Um, the one thing I wanted to really share is I was there when in Charleston when Dan first met Catherine. Um, I wasn't physically there, but I had just visited him that weekend, and he was so excited to be sharing his his time with her. And she was he was beaming. And the one thing I have noticed is that excitement has just not faded.